Hi, baby. Uh, hi, baby. <laughs> what are we doing today? Today, we've got uh, some Unistrut down here. Yeah. And we're going to be bringing that up to the roof and measuring it for the racking of our solar panels, which are currently hidden away in there. Yeah, here, I'll open it. All right, so my brother-in-law and sister Oh, oh yeah, there it is. I was like, wait, what's in here? Helped us bring over eight of our solar panels. We have two more still at our house that wouldn't fit in their truck. And uh, we're gonna bring one up to the roof today and kind of do a dry fit, as they say. All right. I don't have trouble hearing you. Oh, you are? Yeah, can you, can you say something? Um, no, and look at this when you're saying it. Oh. See what I mean? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, now it's working. Okay. So it wasn't going up that high when. Hmm. Is it maybe the reception between these two things? Turn around and do it. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. Okay. When I turn around, you can't. Yeah. Oh. That's a bit of a bummer. Luckily, the GoPro's got a. I don't know if it's picking up really well, but. Well, it's right here, so it should pick me up at least. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. Let's try something. I want to. Let's do a test. Okay. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and see what happens. Okay. And I'm gonna see if I can talk and see what happens in the uh, over there. Yeah, we've got all kinds of uh, fun recording equipment that we've brought out today that we're trying out for the first time. We've had this GoPro for a while, but I am now wearing it on my chest with a chest harness, which is interesting. And we recently bought this super cute drone, which I totally adore. We took it to New Brunswick and did some really great aerial shots of our land. Yeah, so we're just trying out new equipment today. And the boys are with us. This is Rick's Rocket. Hi, honey. How are you? I love you so much. <gasps> Percy Bear, come here, honey. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Look, it's not picking it up. Oh, I got, so, that's red. Is mine we're just red? Out yours is blue. Yours is red. Why is yours red? Can I click the G C button? Yeah, it shouldn't do anything, but. Oh, it's blue now. I don't know what I did. Try now. Hello. This is Jamie Wood Riley talking to you. I, I must have clicked something. Must have accidentally when, it, when it, maybe I did when I was trying to put the thing on, but it's working fine now. Yeah. Okay. We'll get this. This is this is a test day. Yeah. By the way, this is my fancy Tim Hortons mug that <laughs> I got in New Brunswick. I'm a big Timmy's fan. I like the Tim bits and the Dubba Dubba. I sure do. For all you Americans who've never been to Tim Hortons, a Dubba Dubba is just a coffee with two sugars, two creams and that's my coffee of choice when I'm not drinking a mocha. And I, I always get it with some kind of milk alternative, usually. My favorite is probably coconut or maybe oat or almond. I haven't looked at the interior in a while. It's So we decided, I don't know, probably about six months ago that we were gonna take a break from the interior and focus all on the exterior work. So installing windows, painting, installing solar panels, mainly because of the weather. So while the weather is good, we wanted to uh, work outside and prepare to be able to work inside when the weather is not good. And as you can see, we've got, most of the floors are, are torn out which is awesome. You can see lots of great storage underneath, which is really fun. But uh, yeah, and we installed, Patrick installed this little window air conditioner. This is not permanent. We're just using this until we're able to get our mini split set up so that we're not cooking ourselves alive in here because this gets pretty warm. But yeah, so eventually we will come back in here and basically focus on interior. You know, it's basically as soon as the solar panels, uh, we finished installing those and we are you know pretty much finished with the outdoor stuff. There's always some little details and finishing bits, but we have a goal of being able to move in within six months. So we're doing the minimum viable build to be able to move in. Got the drone flying, honey? Yeah, I didn't have uh, the SD card in it, so it kind of oh. yelled at me. Oh, did it? Take off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Percy. <laughs> Don't bark. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Be careful. I love you. How you doing, baby? Hey, there's Max Air fans up here. Oh my God, where'd they come from? <laughs> Who put those up?
Okay, you got me, honey? I got you. I just get really nervous at the top. Yep. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Welcome. I'm going to hand you the th all three of them, okay? Okay. I forget, are we going on the inside or the outside of the beam? Uh, we're going on the outside. Okay. It's okay, Percy Bear. He is very nervous about the drone. Hi there. <laughs> I'm trying to land this thing. Landing. Nice landing. I'm proud of our Max Air fans. They're looking good. I had to let go of my deck dream. This isn't gonna be a deck now. It's gonna be a solar panel, but that's okay. We wanted to make sure that we could fit eight panels on here. And uh, with this space, we can, so. It's a 45 foot bus, and these panels are about five feet, eight inches by 45 inches. So not quite four feet by five feet, eight inches, something like that. These two things right here are exhaust fans. The first one, this one here, is the kitchen, and this one's the bathroom. So this one will be above the tub, and this one will be above the sink, or very close to above the sink. Yeah, we still need to take some tape off. You remember where I put the rubber washers? I'm always losing stuff. <laughs> I never lose stuff. That's not true. Can I tell you, can I tell you, I, I honestly think that we should maybe bring a solar panel up here. Do you want me to come down and we can pull one out together? Let's just do that. All right, here we go. All right. Those are Canadian 390 watt solar panels. Did you say Canadian? Uh, Canadian Solar is the company that makes them. Oh, nice. Funny thing about Canadian Solar, they did start as a small company in Ontario making this stuff. They were bought out by a Chinese company. The company in Ontario shut down. From then on, they were always, they're all made in China, so. So I have an idea. I think that we should take this up there. It's really not super heavy or that hard, and I can like grab it and walk up and then you can give me this end okay. yeah. i'm gonna hold i'm gonna hold until you got it okay okay i got it honey k ready one two three up oh. okay one two three okay got it okay okay here we go okay just one second Okay, got it. You're on the left, you're a dead cat. I saw that. <laughs> dead cat, oh no. Okay, so why don't we lay this down on this track and see, and then we can kind of move the things around a little bit. We're just measuring stuff right now. And we're also seeing where does it touch in the middle? Where does it touch in the middle? No, I can tell. It does, it's touch. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna center this. Yeah. This might be good. Oh, okay. Tell me what to do with it. Just put it under, because I need, want to get two of these. Got it? Yeah. That's it, right there. I think that'll do it. We could do one more, and then it would lift it up. Let's do two over here and see how it feels. Does it really matter where I put these? Or should it be under here? No, no. It doesn't matter. matter. Now, that is kind of perfect. Yeah, it is. Right Look, here. this is... It, it's it's not touching right here. Is it touching over it is there? It's touching right here. Oh, it is. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> that actually works perfect, and I don't think we need what the things that I ordered the the angles because this, mm -hmm. as, I, as I do, I tend to overthink things a little bit. Yeah. And I was so concerned the last couple of days about the angles and whether or not the bolts would be straight here and there that I ordered some extra pieces and I'll show you those tomorrow. I think I might have overthought them, which is a good thing about Amazon because you can return stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's this is that's not touching. And just to clarify for me, this is this, this solar panel is gonna start here. It needs to start it needs to start as close as possible. Right. So that we can fit all the ones we want to fit. Can we move this? I, I would really like to see how it sits when it's exactly where it's going to be. Hey, this is perfect. Oh my God. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, let's walk through the steps. Walk through like a fifth grader, you know, 
<laughs> so, first of all, we got to move the, the solar panel out of the way because we don't need that here up here at all. Okay. We'll just get it out of the way because we're not carrying it down again. Right, right. I still want to go inside. I want to measure the distances between the ribs. So we'll start at the transition where it's the same measurement inside and out. Uh, then we'll measure back to the first rib, measure that distance, mark it down, the width of the rib, then we'll go backwards from there. And okay. so we can mark them up here where the ribs are so we don't inadvertently screw into one. Uh, so basically we're trying to avoid the ribs. Avoid we want to attach it. We're going to be going, we're going to be attaching the, the, the rails uh, through the sheet metal. Right. On the outside of the ribs. You know, leave your comment. You don't think that should happen? Leave your comment. Tell us why. Uh, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Tell us why. We won't listen, but you know. Well, no, because there's, there's <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I have researched it and I think it's going to be just fine. We're going to be using uh, three bolts in a row going down through the sheet metal with rather large square washers to hold and distribute the weight. And then we're going to be sickaflexing or gluing them onto the bottom of the, uh, well, well, to the ceiling underneath. And I'm thinking if they're close enough to this beam that we've got, because there is a beam right next to where this is going to go, it might actually tack weld the, the big washers to the beam. This is an example of maybe overthinking it. Maybe. But we'll see. The battery's getting a little low. Yeah, so tell me what we're measuring. All right, well, for measure from the transition, so as close to the edge as you can, back to this. And since we're doing it on this side, we don't have to worry about like this one. Uh -huh. Just these thick ones here. So it doesn't look too bad. Let's try that. You want me to hold it? Yeah, she can just sort of... Right here? Right from there. Um, Watch out for the spiders. So, transition, there we go. Okay, so that's 64 and a half. All right. Can you show me what you went to just so I can see? All right, I measure from here, not to, oh, okay, 64 and a, yeah, 64 and a quarter. Probably a metric measurement that I don't know, but that's what it is on this. 64 and a quarter, and this is two and, oh, my glasses. <laughs> Three eighths, yeah, two and three eighths, two and three eighths. So 64 and a quarter to here, and then two and three eighths. And let me just double check this measurement. Okay, where do you want me to go? This, uh, this side? Yeah, we'll try it there. We'll just go from pretty much 65. That's 65 inches. So do it from the other side. Right here? Yeah, 62 and a half. From the only insides? Yeah, so okay. 62 and a half for there. Um, this as well, just to double check. That two and three eighths. Yep, and just to measure this one, and I think they're all going to be the same, but I want to be sure. So two and a half, which is the same as that one, and two and three. All right, good. So it's the same all the way down. Yeah, pretty much all the way down. Can you kind of explain what's happening on the outside that corresponds right. to these measurements? We want to be sure. We want to know where these beams are, these ribs are, when we're on the up, when we're upstairs, <laughs> on the roof, uh -huh. and drilling in. Ah, because so we don't want to hit we them. We don't want to hit these these things. So we're gonna. Got it. That way we'll know where we can drill and where we cannot. Okay. And the unistrut is gonna be on the outside of this beam, right? Hopefully. <laughs> That's what we think anyway. That's what I'm hoping. So how do we... How do we be sure? Yeah. How do we measure in here and then... I just think that it's the uh, where that thing is on the roof where this is, but... Well, that's what we think. You know what I could do? What? This is known. We can see this on the upstairs, outside. That used to be the emergency exit. So let's say we measure... Okay. From here. Here. What was that like 13, 12 and a half? 12 and three fourths? Yeah, 12 and three quarters looks like. 12 okay. and three quarters plus uh, two. Okay. Let's go through So that. about 14 and three quarters. All right, I'm gonna put this back on. All right. <laughs> Wearing this thing on my chest is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna start recording. Hi. I'm gonna just use the drill that's on there and okay. make a tiny little hole. Okay, on the outside of the beam. Okay. I'm standing in the middle of that panel. I'm not sure exactly where he's going to come through. I'm guessing he's going to be right in this area. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's a teeny tiny hole. All right. So how, how's it look? Can you come up? Because uh, I want to talk to you about it. So the hole is right there. Okay, perfect. My concern was that where this beam is may not correspond to where this thing is here. Right. And it turns out it does. We don't want to hit this beam. That's right. Right. So having it out here by even this that much is great. Perfect. Okay. So we know it's right there. We can go along on this side of this and we're safe. 
Okay, great. So this little hole lets us know that that's the outer edge of the beam. And if we go a couple inches this way, no big deal. Yeah, I don't think it'll be even a couple, probably an inch at the best on either side. Sure, because it's it's about uh, where the holes are on the solar yeah, panel. 55 inches apart. Okay. We want it centered. Perfect. Okay. That's, that's excellent. Where it was before when we first measured, and you had the solar panel here and we put the rubber washers in. That's where we want it. Got it, so got it. That's okay. all I was worried about. Then we can come out here tomorrow, we can mark everything for the where the ribs are. So mm -hmm. we know we don't hit those, we can run a line. Drop yeah, line. yeah, so you had, when you measured from the transition to the first rib going this way, how, how many inches was it? I think it was about 64. Yeah. Let me just do a quick estimation here. So there's 64. Okay, so I've got my pen here. Hold on. Yeah, so mark 64 there. And then what was it, two and, uh, two and three eighths? Let's make it three. <laughs> For what this? Yeah, no, no, two and three eighths from there to where the other one is. Okay, so basically put to like, yeah. line right here and we, we we can avoid this area completely you know what i'm saying like cat, dead cat. my dead cat. dead cat it's trying to die well it doesn't stay on very well 64 and 3 8 ready i think i over that one but it doesn't matter just fyi this line i made it a little bit far that way okay. but it doesn't matter For, yeah the point given an inch on either side we should be fine exactly so basically this is the beginning of a beam inside and it's about two and something inches so if you do 64 inches that way can you hold that try not to get dizzy up here <laughs> it's, it's a little scary so is it 64 even or 64 and a half 64 and a half and i'll do it on that side and we'll have all of our measurements done <laughs> oh my god, there's a flying robot. <laughs> All right, question, honey. For the very first one, is it 64? It's 64 pretty much on the button from transition to the first rib. Got it. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, now I go all the way down, marking where the, the horizontal ribs are. <laughs> I'm making my, my sweet man laugh is my favorite thing. The next day. Hi, honey. Hi, how are you? Okay. We just had an SD card error in our GoPro, so we lost some of the footage, so we're going to really quickly go over it again. Two things you got to know about me, you probably already do. I know, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. A lot of this project is like that, and we've just been making it up as we go along because this is an awkward build. This is not a school bus. There Take... aren't very many models that are we can look at and say, oh, we can do exactly that thing. Yeah, that's right. Mel and Don, uh, Rehabitate, their video. Uh, their, their bus, the Lutheria, is very much like this, but still, they didn't do a roof raise, so we didn't figure that out. We're installing our, in this case, we're installing our solar panels a little bit differently than anything I've seen before, using things that we've seen on other videos. Videos. Another thing, I tend to overthink things quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm at home. Uh, I thought I had the plan all sorted out. We get some Unistrut, a couple of rubber washers, which I have right here. A few of these spacers to go up and see how far we need to go because we do have a bit of a curve. It's not much of a curve. Uh, and then to lift up the Unistrut and then make sure that the solar panel as it's stretched across clears the apex of the curve. So I thought I had that sorted out. I'm at home one night and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking, it's never gonna work. It's just too high. We've got to be able to bring this up because then the then the unistrut we can we can prop it up, but then the unistrut's gonna be tilted and the bolts are gonna be crooked and it's never gonna fit. And oh my God, what am I gonna do? So Amazon luckily has a very liberal return policy. <laughs> so I picked up a couple of things. They've probably already seen these if you've done this before. This this goes down to the roof of the bus. Then this thing you can twist to adjustable angle and mount your solar panel on that. Same thing with this. So you got two different alternate plans. Yeah, basically. I wanted I wanted to to experiment a little bit. I want mm -hmm. to make sure we had it covered. So this is the same thing. I'm not going to take them out of the packaging, but you'll mm -hmm. see this goes on the bus. Then this can adjust angles, and then the solar panel can be attached to the top of that. Turns out, as we did learned yesterday, and if you haven't seen that footage, you will shortly. My original plan, perfect. <laughs> The, uh, Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> it does. We had the Unistrut on. We got the Unistrut up there. We we tested it. Worked out fine. So these things, we didn't need returning them to Whole Foods probably next week. Nice. So now we're getting ready to actually install the roof rails, rather, and at least one solar panel. Although we won't be running the wires through the roof just yet. Just want to get it locked down and sort that out. So 
I mean, this is the first day, so we're going to be making most of our mistakes today. So it'll take longer than all the other uh, installs. We'll have eight solar panels total, but this will be the one where we learn all the mistakes yeah. and how to fix them. Yeah, we'll be taking it slowly <laughs> and um, threading our way through, hopefully. Yeah. And then we've learned this in the past as well. I'll like go the roof rate. You start off slow, you make a few mistakes, and by the time you get to the other end of the bus, you're an expert and it just breezes through. Yeah. Taking out the windows, remember that? I was gonna say, I was just watching a video from, gosh, literally years ago <laughs> now. We've been working on this bus for three years. When we were taking out the original windows, it took me two weeks to figure out how to take out the first window. And then we were able to take out all the other windows in like, two days two days yeah. yeah just just came out once we knew what we were doing bam. yeah so you know how it goes so that's what this is gonna Say be love you. all right we're getting all our tools ready and all our equipment ready and then we're gonna climb up and uh start to work i've got a bit of a plan tell you what why don't i head up with this and then we will we can talk about it on the roof hello solar panel you got rain on you. I'm giving about an inch of space from the transition edge to where we will put the solar panel. And so I'm gonna re-stick this, even though it's wet, it's probably not gonna stick, but solar panels are just under 45 inches. And then let's see from there, solar panel number two has all the room it needs. Okay. Roger Dodger. I hear you. <laughs> We got to talk about placement because I think our plan of starting the solar panel an inch or so back, it might not make enough room for the second solar panel. I mean, today's cluster f day. Let's get them all out of the way. My fix is that panel one hangs out about an inch and a half to two inches. That's the fix. I'm okay with that. Cool. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that at all. Okay. Five minutes later. Today is not our day. I don't know if we should be doing this today. I'm a little scared of it too. Yeah, I think that we should, I think we should turn that back over and then go home. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to rain yet. <laughs> God damn it. I know. <laughs>